Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron, my channel for crafting and Harry Potter. Today's video is very, very different to my normal videos um, because this is my birthday haul video. So two weeks ago I had my birthday on the 19th of August and I thought I would show you all the goodies I got. So this is quite a magical video because obviously my friends knowing that I like Harry Potter um, kind of aim to get me Harry Potter stuff but they do have the never-ending struggle that because I buy so much Harry Potter stuff they really do have trouble getting me anything Harry Potter related because they're always like well you've already bought it so what can we do so they did well though they succeeded um, and so I am going to now show you the goodies that they got me. So the first thing, not Harry Potter related, but I do like cute things. So I like narwhals, cute narwhals. Some narwhals look weird looking, but I like cute narwhals. And so one of my friends, she got me this cushion that's got a little narwhal on it wearing a little bow and it's got a little love heart up there. And it's really cute and it's really actually soft but I love it so she got me that and what else have I got down here and then my parents got me this so it's the hardback version of the Harry Potter wand collection and this book is absolutely stunning so for those of you who haven't seen it who have I turned to Professor Sprout we're going with the Hufflepuff head of house here so it has in it every single character and their associated wand and a little bit of information about that wand. And it goes through and it has all the various professors. It's got all of the Hogwarts students that feature. Um, let me try and find. So there we go. So we have Harry Potter is obviously first. So there is his very well-known wand and it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, and it, actually I'm trying to find something interesting that I didn't know, let me find it. So what I didn't realize, which kind of confused me and probably makes me seem like a really poor Harry Potter fan, at the Harry Potter studio tour, they have a display of all these wands round in a circle. And under Luna Lovegood's wand, we have this top one with sort of this floral pattern on the end there. And I was like, that's not Luna's wand. This is Luna's wand. This is the Luna's wand that we know and love and you can buy in the studio and online and things like that. And I was very confused as to why they had the wrong wand on there. But I have now discovered due to this lovely book that Luna's first wand was engraved with vines twisting with acorns but when she loses her wand to the Death Eaters in Deathly Hallows Part 2, um, Ollivander, who was imprisoned with her, uh, crafted her a new one. So that's the flowering tulip wand. So fact of the day, I don't know how many of you guys knew that, um, I didn't, I just completely was oblivious to the fact that she lost her wand um, and or just forgot kind of thing and so I thought that was always her wand the tulip one but no she had a first wand but yes so that was actually really interesting um, to see that so that was that one so I got that from my parents um, and they also um, contributed some money towards the new Lego Harry Potter sets that have all come out in the last month. Um, so they, as part of the other part of their gift, they gave me some money towards that. Then another one of my friends, sticking with the books theme, bought me um, this Wizarding World Creatures Projections um, book. So what this basically is, it's a ring bound book that consists of these plates with images on. I don't know if you can see that because it's obviously. So that's Dobby there. 
And so they're all these plates of like memorable scenes with creatures on them. And so what you do is you open it up, you hold up the thing, you get a torch, shine the light through the plate, and it will project that image on your walls. So she got me that one for creatures. And somewhere deeper in this box, there is another one, which is the Quidditch one, which was from the friend who got me the narwhal cushion. Then the next thing, not Harry Potter related, but still very much a fandom this is really cute this is wrapped in styrofoam so now there's going to be styrofoam everywhere this if i can get it all right is a really cute i love it i love groot this is a groot sort of pen pot some sort of holder so you can just hold things in him. He is so, so cute. I absolutely love Groot so, so much. Well, I love baby Groot. <laughs> so one of my friends got me that and she's actually, she has been sitting on it for quite a while. So she got it ages and ages ago and she's just been waiting to give it to me for my birthday. So she got me that and she also really generously um, when she came with me up to London, um, as you would have seen in the last video, and um, she said she wanted to buy me something extra, but didn't know what to get me. So when we went up to London and went to the Primark, she had a look at what I was buying, um, and so she picked something out. So I picked up this Hedwig hot water bottle, and so she said that she would give this to me. So that's really cute and it's really fluffy but it's fluff has just gone up my nose um so yeah so he's really cute and fluffy he's a bit like they did um previously they did a head with cushion it's basically that but with a hot water bottle now in it so that was the first thing that she got me in the primark and then the other thing that she got me if i can get it out is this again not harry potter related um so this is a like bookends so the l and the o are one end of the bookend v and e are the other end of the bookends um and that was only five pound in primark so that's what they look like when you bookend them you can't really see the o or the v unfortunately because they're quite pale colors on those um, but i love burgundies so i spotted that and i thought oh i've got to have that one so i got that from her as well and then the next thing that I got from another one of the girls who came with me for the day out was she got me this magical tote bag. So it's Hogwarts by Moonlight there. And I know that's from Primark, uh, but she bought it before we went. She also got me, I, I love tequila rosé. This is an alcoholic drink, okay, so you can't get this if you're under 18 or 21 if that's your age limit um so this is tequila rose it tastes like i was gonna say dreams but no it tastes like strawberry angel delight in liquid form which i absolutely love it's only got so it's a strawberry liqueur basically with a splash of tequila and i don't like tequila so, but I do like this and it's gorgeous. So she got me a bottle of that, which I'm very grateful for. And then another one of my friends, independently of the narwhal cushion friend, got me narwhal socks. I love narwhal socks. So they came from New Look. Then I have to say this, one of my friends got me a Harry Potter card. So I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good with all of them flying on their brooms and then I absolutely adore Freddo Frog so one of my friends got me just a load of Capri's Dairy Milk Freddo Frogs they are amazing I love them I have so many of them I basically have just a massive box of them in my fridge and then I got a Fox and Ivy Tesco candle, um, bergamot and white jasmine tin candle. 
so it's in a nice little mint green tin. I think it's quite a light smell from memory when I smell it. Yeah, it's really nice. Nice fresh smell there. So she got me a candle. And then the next thing is a chunky one. It's another book. So it's Harry Potter, The Character Vault. And so it's a big hefty book and it, oh, how apt. I'm a Ravenclaw and I've opened it up and it is Helena Ravenclaw, AKA the Grey Lady there. So it's, it's information about all of these and they've got, it's got various inserts. It's a very heavy book, so it's got various inserts there and little pull out. So they're the Death Eaters masks. So I've wanted this for a really long time, but I've just never got around to getting it. And so one of my friends got it for me for my birthday and it's beautiful. I love these books. I don't actually have, this is the first one I've got in this kind of collection. So I'm slowly gonna work my way through to having all of those. And then the next thing, as I said before, is another one of the projections books, but it's Harry Potter Quidditch. And so again, it's ring bound. I've just hit myself in the face with it. And the projections are bits of the story. So this is the Quidditch game between Harry and Draco. There. And the next Thing we have oh that's a little bit mushed oh I've just got sorry I've got some birthday cards and things like that so I won't show you those because they're not as interesting so then the next thing I have is one of my friends knowing that the Harry Potter Lego sets were coming out um, bought me the Fantastic Beasts um, set one of the Fantastic Beasts set which is Grindelwald's Escape there I know it says 7 to 14 and clearly I'm not 14 but I love Harry Potter and I love Fantastic Beasts so this comes with two minifigures and it relates to the next film coming out oh I found another Freddo Frog there were four Freddo Frogs in there so that's the four um, I kept the gift card, so that was the Harry Potter gift card that my friend gave to me, um, which I mentioned in the last my prime magical Twilight haul video was that one of the girls that came out with me last weekend, the other weekend, even two weekends ago, um, she gave me a twenty pound Harry Potter gift card, um, so I could get some goodies myself. And then I got this lovely canvas nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express bag with. HP on the back and this is really good quality one it's like got a popper fastening and inside it's got um, Harry Potter on the flappy pocket and she also got me this t-shirt which is hand painted that says sorry wrong way around showing you the back first so on it it says I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good and on the back it says mischief managed and she also, if I can get it out, um, she wrapped my present in Harry Potter wrapping paper, <laughs> which she got from the Harry Potter Studio Tour. So that's where you can get that wrapping paper. She managed to buy that when we went a few times ago and I didn't notice. So that was very clever. Then the last thing on the narwhal theme um, that went with the cushion was this narwhal um, phone stand grip thing to go on the back of my phone so I can stop dropping it on my face. And then we are near the bottom. So the final bits are, so this, this was the last bit of the, the narwhal present, but this isn't narwhal themed, this is Harry Potter themed. So, this is a little music box that's just nice wooden engraving there. So it looks like a normal music box. Then when you open the lid, 
it says Harry Potter. And now I'm going to hope that you can hear this. I'm hoping the camera's picking this up. I love it. So it plays Hedwig's theme and it's so diddy. And so yes, so that was the last of that present. And so then the final present, which was from my best friend, which I absolutely love. So I know I'm an adult, but I like Harry Potter, so clearly you can tell I'm not a real adult. Um, and so this is a jelly cat, and it's one of their big ones. And it's an octopus, and I think octopuses are really cute in this form, obviously. Some of them are cute in real life as well, but it is so, so soft, and really squishy. So this is called, this is called Adele. Adele the octopus, and she's so lovely and soft. So she's, my best friend gave me her. She does have eight legs, so she has the right number of legs. Uh, my best friend counted, just to be sure. Um, but yeah, so she is a jelly cat, and I love her so much. So she got me her, and then also she got me some Harry Potter Bertie Bots Air Flavor Beans. And she got me some, some Harry Potter Jelly Slugs, which I've not actually tried the Jelly Slugs before. So that's quite good, so that will be a new a new experience to try those. Um, so they are all my presents and I was so grateful to everyone who got me um, something and it was lovely. So I spent my weekend, because uh, my birthday was on the Sunday, so I spent the Saturday having afternoon tea up in London and visiting the big Oxford Street Primark. And then on Sunday I went to Thorpe Park for the day. Um, with some of my workmates um, so it was all very very nice and so yes so they were all my presents um, and yeah I was what else did I get actually I also got some money from my siblings as well so they gave me some money towards some Lego it was all towards Lego as did my aunt and uncle actually so my aunt and uncle got me some money as well so a lot of the family contributions were towards me getting which was very, very appreciated. Um, anyway, if you liked this video, please hit the like button. Um, you won't see any videos like this until probably next year. Um, but yes, do feel free to subscribe to see my other videos, which are often Harry Potter related. Uh, anyway, that is all from me and I will stop rambling and let you go. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.